5.30 and happening now. Firefighters continue to mop up hot spots after that fast moving grass fire forced hundreds of evacuations in Falcon. Crews are keeping a close eye on conditions to make sure that the wind that's out there this morning doesn't kick that flame up again. Yeah, we're going to hear that right now because News 5's Allison Zimmerman is joining us live along Highway 24 where it is very windy this morning. Absolutely, Ira and Bree. This wind certainly not helping out. Crews, as you mentioned, still working out here. We're told about 30 of them are just north of us trying to mop up any hot spots. But the good news is that fire is fully contained. I want you to take a look here, though. We are standing along Highway 24. This is the burn scar. So you can see just how close it got to the highway here. Uh, nearly 300 people were sent out of their homes, but most of them have been able to return. We're told that firefighters are keeping an eye on just a couple of those homes that were threatened this morning because they want to keep it the same of no homes being lost in this fire. But real quick, let's show you those flames from last night. We're told still the size is the same, about 280 acres. Luckily, no homes damaged once again, but the Patriot Learning Center did set up an evacuation center just in case. Several other people in Falcon decided to wait at a nearby Walmart. And new this morning, we are hearing from one man who jumped in to help when people started leaving their homes. One thing he saw, people helping their neighbors move trailers that weren't even theirs. It was very sobering knowing that even it may not even been the owner of the trailer or the animals, just other people coming in to help out and responding. And you could see as they're driving the, how, just that sobering reality look on their face that they were worried and very concerned because that's their lives. And all those evacuees were able to go home around 10 o'clock last night. Now, the cause of this fire is still under investigation. As we mentioned, we're going to be keeping a close eye on that fight. It's about 30 people still work to mop up any hot spots in this wind. Of course, not making things any easier. Always watching out for your Falcon. Allison Zimmerman, News 5.